welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about natural hair as you guys can see I have my natural hair out today this is all mine okay at the top rocking a little puff for like two days so I was like let me throw this video up because if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs then you already know I am thinking about relaxing my hair um, or at least doing like a t-lax which is like a texturizer but yeah i wanted to throw this video up here because originally when i started my channel i talked a lot more about natural hair and i haven't in a long time so i was like let's do it today um so i'm trying to think where to start okay i have some notes so i kind of want to go back and tell you guys about my journey to going natural in the first place if i can find pictures i'll put some pictures or videos or something on the screen um to kind of show y'all but back then i did not even have an iphone so like nothing was in the cloud so i don't really have a lot of pictures i feel like from that time in my life but we'll see um what i can find but i do of course have youtube videos so i will link those in the description box down below in case you guys want to go check out any of those videos to see my natural hair at the time but basically in 2014 is when i had my last relaxer or like t-lax so i would call it a t-lax or like a texturizer is what i used to get um pretty much my whole life like every few months or so i would get one um because i used to wear my hair straight all the time like that was that was my style i would always wear my hair straight and then when i went into pharmacy school i decided that i wasn't gonna continue because it like it wasn't convenient so i wasn't gonna get a new hairstylist while i was away at school and people were kind of going natural around that time too like if you guys remember like i've been on youtube like kind of for a little while so if y'all remember like naptrals when i think that's how you say her name i'll put it on the screen i believe it's naptrals 85 she was getting really big around that time showing her natural hair and i would watch her a lot and i was like i'm just you know i'm gonna do the natural hair thing i'm gonna grow it out i'm gonna um i wasn't gonna big chop because i was like mm, that's not really for me i don't really think you know short hair i i couldn't see it like i couldn't see me just like with a a little afro walking around so that was a no for me so i decided to just transition i transitioned for maybe like a year and a half and then i cut my hair so during that time i was doing a lot of wig reviews if you, if you guys were around on my channel at that time you would see me doing a lot of synthetic wig reviews so yeah, that's what was going on with my real hair underneath while I was wearing all those wigs. And that's when I started trying out crochet braids and doing all that type of stuff. So eventually I did cut my hair and I had like a little, a little fro like this. It wasn't bad. I think I have a picture of that. Hopefully I can find it um, where it was just kind of, you know, like that. And that's how I would wear it or I would wear crochet braids around that time. So I was growing my hair out. That's literally why I stopped getting t-lax is because people would say if you don't um relax your hair or whatever it'll grow like your hair is damaged if it's relaxed that's why it's not growing so stop go natural and watch your hair grow baby <laughs> that was in 2014 it is 2022 and look how short my hair is like y'all can't really tell because it's in a puff but i basically have had like no length retention at all like like nuns and that's the reason that i went natural in the first place was to see if i could get my hair to grow long because i feel like genetics do play a part my mom has had very long hair when she was younger and so i'm like okay like i feel like my hair would have the potential at least genetically to grow that long and then if i'm natural i'm doing all the regimen or whatever then you know my hair should be growing like wildfire and people are like um, do protective styles like have your hair um, tucked away most of the time wear wigs wear crochet braids do all these things so that your hair can supposedly be protected and it's gonna grow long like I know y'all have heard these things like I know like people say this people say this but for me it has not been the case like it has not been the case at all my hair is probably like here the longest it's been, 
maybe like this long maybe but then i feel like when i get it um flat ironed or like i blow it out or something like i always have to cut so much of my hair off because i feel like the ends are not holding up so i don't know what the reasoning is for that i try to be good with my like wash day routines with like protein treatments with good picking good deep conditioners you know doing the whole thing using the wide tooth comb and like oiling your scalp and just trying all these different things and still I feel like my hair really has not gotten to where I want it to. That's one of the reasons um, or a few of the reasons that I am thinking about texturizing my hair. The other thing is I am just kind of ready for a new look. I mean this is cute right like my puff is very much giving edges. Okay giving we love it but like at the same time I also would have loved to be able to do just middle part slick back bun, you know, something cute in the back because if you have a texturizer, your hair is not all the way straight. You're still gonna have texture, that's the point of it. So my hair will be looser, but it's not gonna be like straight. You see what I mean? So like I would have been able to do like a nice little bun in the back, you know, I feel like it just would have been giving as well. And I can never do that with my hair. It's another issue for me as well as I feel like I can't wear frontals. I can't wear wigs. I'm never able to get the straight hair look, you know, like if I straighten my own hair or even if I get it done by a professional, it frizzes up instantly, you guys like instantly it frizzes up like I'm walking out of the salon and it's it's getting big like I I can't be bothered bro I can't be bothered I can't even get I feel like that could solve a lot of things like if I could just constantly get silk presses like all my natural hair but it actually stay straight like how some like some girls who are natural can get their hair like silk pressed and it will stay looking good for like weeks. They'll be able to like rock that. And I'm like, I wish I could, I wish I could. So yeah, I feel like all of that just attributes to me wanting to just do a different look. I've been natural or transitioning, wearing crochet braids, doing all this kind of stuff since 2014. Okay, it is 2022. Like, it's, you know, like, let's, let's do something else. And also, when I was um, T-laxed or texturized, and I used to wear my hair straight all the time, I wasn't into experimenting as much with hair. And so I want to try out, you know, like nice slick back ponytails. I want to try to do my own sew-in. Like I want to do um, clip-ins, half up, half down styles, but all with my hair being straight. Like at some point I would love to try out micro links, um, tape-ins, you know, that whole thing that's going on with that um, type of style. I I'm definitely pretty much already decided that I'm doing it, <laughs> but I wanted to bring it to you guys and just talk about it. Like, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you giving up on your natural hair? Like, are you, <laughs> are you giving up? Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today's video, girl. At this point, I literally feel like I'm just rambling. I'm trying to decide how much of this I'm going to need to edit out because did we even get to the point? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Turn post notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up, girl. Subscribe to the channel, okay? Period. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.